Welcome guys, and today we're in the kitchen. I'm not out and about because honestly, the weather out there, it's an autumn day and it's a gray and miserable autumn day. But I've asked my mate here, Andre, to come along because he makes a fantastic borscht, right? Now, just, so. be just before this, he says, I'm gonna teach you how to pronounce that, but I know borscht, borscht, right? borscht, 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 borscht. okay. <laughs> And he's really good at it. And I thought, you know what? A lot of people like this soup. It's very popular, but his version is fantastic. And he's also just started a YouTube channel called Vodking, because apart from being a Borscht expert, he's also a vodka expert. And he's brought along my favorite vodka. So why waste any time, mate? We're here. What are we gonna snack? No snack, this is just to warm up. Okay. Or you can have uh, have an onion. I'll okay. have a deal. Ah, good idea. I'll also have a deal. This smells good, doesn't it? Welcome to my YouTube channel, my friend. Sprieza. This is not the best way to drink vodka. We were not prepared. It's not the best way yes, to do yes. anything. I will, now. I will teach you later. Okay. I know we were being impulsive. Oh. Your fault. You brought the vodka. So, what do we got here? What are we going to use to make this borscht? Explain to my viewers how you make this fantastic borscht. Okay, let's start from the very beginning. So, borscht pronunciation. The, the, there are no things like borscht. Oh, with a T. There's borscht. no sh. No, no. It's there is a sound. Sh, 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 borsh. Borsh. Yes, short, like dog is barking. Borsh, 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 borsh. So we're getting a Russian lesson too, huh? Yeah. Sounds good? Yeah. Well, what do we got here? That looks so good. The, the basic ingredients for borsh are the ca cabbage, for sure beetroot. Be so the, the essence of borsh is beetroot, very healthy vegetable so potatoes are okay and uh, beans are okay so this is the basic of course meat you can make a bouillon on a good uh, with good meat so this is the base but my extended ver uh, version very good for vodka and also if you don't have vodka it's still good enough because it has wait, wait, wait. what do you mean don't have vodka some, some people don't have water. Uh, no such thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, they, they run out of vodka. Oh, okay, yeah. If okay. you run out of vodka... Yeah, yeah. it's still good. Um, so, we need to make a preparation before. Okay. Uh, we need to make... You're, you're the chef today, I'm the sous chef. I'm, I'm following your lead. So, first of all, we, need, uh, we will put meat boiling. Okay, so how long does that boil for? Uh, about one hour and a half. Wow. So till it completely disintegrates yes, and, yes, just and it melts in your mouth. are melting, yes, exactly. So now we So that's going. Now we're gonna do the prep work, right? Yeah. So uh, now we need to peel off and cut beetroot. Okay. So wait, wait, what are you doing? I try to peel it. No, but this is this is uh, this is YouTube. Well, well, let I me show you. Let me, no, let me show you. Let me show you how it's done on YouTube. You don't just on YouTube. You go like this, and it appears. <laughs> you're not going to spend. Crazy. You're going to spend an hour peeling and chopping in front of the camera. Are you, this is the YouTube magic. This is really magic. Absolutely. Can, can you try it with carrots? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Try it with a carrot. There you go. <laughs> the blooper. You have to do it again. <laughs> yeah. The blooper. <laughs> it was magic, Justin. So, can you try it with carrots? Yeah, go ahead. Are there any magic words? For you, have, you have to hold it higher, like, like you believe it. Exactly. Wow, holy crap. 
There you go. This is some YouTube magic. Oh, right? YouTube magic. Now we've just saved our viewers about half an hour to 40 minutes Whoa. of tedious cutting. I mean, you need to grate your carrots, right? Grated carrots, grated um, beetroot. Then what do we got here? We've got uh, diced pepper. Bell pepper. Bell pepper. What's next? Oh, cabbage. Cabbage. <laughs> So you want a bit of cabbage, and here we've got some beans. Beans, white beans, right? White beans, yes. White beans. These kind of beans. Okay, cool. Don't use gray, uh, green ones because they don't have. So I don't like their taste. So and potatoes. Potatoes. Yeah. Diced. Yeah. About little pieces. Little pieces like that into the soup. They go. Yeah. So, what about these two cans? What's this? You've got well, uh, peeled, chopped, uh, diced chopped tomatoes, tomatoes, yeah? Yes. And, and these are beans. Beans. Okay, also. broad beans, yeah. Yeah. This well, I like. What's this for? Chili pepper, we will use it at the end, oh. when we serve bush. Oh, not when we serve yeah. the vodka. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and garlic, we will put it at the very end as well. One important thing while uh, the meat is cooking, we need to prepare a bouquet of um, greens, herbs, yeah. herbs. So what um, goes in there? Yeah, well, uh, the onions, <laughs> we cannot peel. Oh, you put the peel in there too? Yes, yes, it's okay. Just put off the, take off uh, the top layer okay. and the rest is okay. The rest it's, is good. Yeah, yeah, the rest is good and healthy. So, um, garlic. You don't peel the garlic? Yeah. We can take some dill. Dill, yes. The, 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 this. this part of dill is okay. And bay leaves? Bay leaves. Every yes. soup goes with bay leaves, yes. don't they? Yes. Three, three will be okay. Three will be okay. Yeah. And I use curry. Curry? Curry, yes. Curry? Yes. You know we're making borscht, right? Yes. So we will put curry a little. It gives smell, good smell. Yeah, we would. Yeah, it will be spicy. But does it taste all right? Yeah. I've never heard of putting curry in borscht. But hey, I'm open-minded. Where's your curry, though? Did you bring any? Yeah. Because I ain't got none. It's over here. So, now let's wait for... An hour and a half. Or yes. how long? Like, okay. how long does that have to cook let's before make, you... Let's make YouTube magic. And? Yes. We're, we drink a little. Okay. Yes, and right after, it, it will be done. I mean, the meat will be done. That's real magic. Uh, okay, another. Let's use green. Oh, uh, the, the spring green onions. onions. Yeah, I'm not yeah. doing that dill again. I'll have uh, I'll have a bit of uh, I'll have a bit of uh, bell pepper. There you go. Zanachala. Zanachala. Which means wait, wait, wait. My viewers, because uh, the then beginning. I have to subtitle for, for the beginning. Otherwise, I've got to translate all this with subtitles. And that's one yeah. thing you're going to learn in YouTube. It's the biggest pain in the ass. So, for the beginning. Zanachala, for the beginning. Mm. Do we have another bottle? Because that's not going to last very long, is it? Uh, so, now we need to check. So now, supposedly, it it's ready, right? It must be ready, Wow. Yes. All right, so the meat's on. Now what? Well, now we need to end the preparation of vegetables because this is not enough. Uh, we need to caramelize uh, beetroots, carrots and bell, bell peppers. So we need to stew it a little. Mm -hmm. All right. Get a saucepan and heat uh, some vegetable oil on. Once your oil is hot, add your beetroot. 
add your carrots and add your pepper. Stir your mix together. And keep cooking for a while until you get that consistency. Once your meat is ready, take it out, cool it down and cut it into pieces. Now add to your broth the cabbage, your potatoes and your beans. Then add your stewed mixture. And a few spoons of canned beans. And very important, your crushed tomatoes. Now stir it all together. Add your meat. And the secret ingredient, curry powder. Twenty minutes later, we will serve. At the very end, crush your garlic. Add some vinegar to balance the sweetness. And now we are ready to serve. Put a dollop of sour cream, sprinkle some dill and spring onions. Приятного аппетита! Ah, oh, Andre, this looks amazing. Now, apart from the Bosch guys, we've also got a little plate of herring here because my friend Andre was getting pissed off with eating greens and vodka. So he decided to take things under control and he's made the most fabulous herring I've ever had. I mean, I eat herring a lot with vodka, but usually I'll just open it, maybe put some boiled potatoes, but he's done something special and he's actually made a video about it on his channel, which I'll link in the description below. And I want to have an appetizer. Should we have an appetizer? Come on, let's have a little appetizer. It's my second one. No, let me, let me teach you something. You're going to see this on his channel. To amazing food. that in the same time it's gonna look like we're pretending here. Mm. 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 I like it. Amazing. Mm. Mm. You know me and you know that I eat everything spicy. Yes. I eat my breakfast spicy, my lunch spicy. And you've got a little story there with the chili haven't you? Yes. Let's move this out of the way. Chili pepper. Well, I had my mother is Ukrainian, mm -hmm. and I'll show you how my Ukrainian great grandfather did. Well, I'll cut this pepper in halves. I'll make it cut, and then I'll dip it many times to get all the spice out. Not all the spice out, but to adjust the spiciness of my dish. Does it make it spicy? It makes. Well, when I was four or five years old, I did the same, but very little. Can I do the same? Sure. <sighs> wow. Does it have your seal of approval? Well, do it more. It's not real chili pepper. I'm ah, afraid. no? Yeah. It's not that spicy at the beginning. Kindergarten grade. Mmm. 
This is crazy. So we mix in the sour cream. Oh, Andre, this is amazing. Mm. I like it too. Well, guys, we're going to tuck into this because this is absolutely phenomenal. It's such a simple thing. And I tell you, he really pulled it off. So if you want to experience a genuine Ukrainian borscht, like his grandmother used to make in Ukraine, then follow those simple steps. And remember, this guy just launching his new YouTube channel, Vodking, and uh, give him the support, give him the love. Go over there now, check out his first video and subscribe to his channel. But in the meantime, Andre, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Justin. And you guys, remember, enjoy your journey.